Hey everybody! Someone's in the kitchen with Laura Sun. Someone's in the kitchen, I know. Oh, oh, oh. Today we are making chicken croissant rolls. Some people call them chicken roll ups, but they're a family favorite of mine. Don't cook them too often because for some reason I can't get these crescent rolls to look like what they look like on the box or the wrap, whatever roll. Anyway, it's just a few ingredients, all under $10. You have two packages of crescent rolls or croissant. You have a package of shredded cheese. You have one package of cream cheese. You have ranch dressing mix, one package. It doesn't matter what brand you use. And we're also using three chicken breasts. You can use frozen, and that's what I use to cook that or you can use rotisserie, or you can use canned chicken. It's all up to you and how quick you wanna make it. Well, I went ahead before time. Longest part was cooking my chicken. As you can see, I have it all just shredded up. Now, we have some softened room temperature cream cheese. We're gonna add to that. And then we're gonna add our ranch dressing one package and you say oh that sounds weird it really is good once you put all the combination the flavors together and I have read where you can use one of these bad boys the mixers but today I'm using the old-fashioned way because it seems to work best for me now I'm gonna add my shredded cheese get that all together, mixed up, and it's gonna be kind of a dry consistency, but that's all right, it's okay. It's the way it should be. So we're gonna mix that up really good, and I'm just gonna dig in with my fingers, okay? I got them wrapped up in gloves. This is going home to my family, so I'm just going to get in with it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Feeling good. Now, we're cushioning it up, smooshing it up, and I hope you guys are having a great week. Today is Wednesday that we're filming this. You'll be seeing it next Thursday, but I hope everything's going all right with you in your home and everybody's staying safe and well, practicing their social distancing and staying inside. No large gatherings. This is a perfect dish if you're by yourself or if you have a large family, you can um, freeze these. All you have to do is wrap them up individually in aluminum foil and freeze them. When you get ready, you can just take one out if that's all you're in the mood for. Two, three, heat them up in the microwave. A couple of minutes and you have your meal. Now, I've squished this up pretty nicely here. I'm just gonna make sure. All right. I love the smell of ranch. It smells so good. Now, I'm gonna take off my gloves since I got them good and messy. And I have already greased my cutting board a little bit so that the uh, rolls will not stick to it. Woo! I love doing that. Scares me and everybody else standing around. Now, I just take them and what I like to do some people actually make the croissant, the triangles. I leave them whole. This is where the roll comes in. It's whichever one you prefer. I just roll them out and I'm gonna leave a little bit on the edge. Now, I take some of my chicken spread and 
You can be as messy as you want, as dainty as you want. It's up to you. So I'm going to spread it out and you're gonna have to squish it out a little bit. It's okay, it really is okay. Squish it out a little bit and squish. You're gonna apply this on both sides. generous or if you want to make a bunch use it sparingly and then just squish it out again doesn't have to be perfect even though I like everything symmetrical that type A personality you don't have to be symmetrical cooking is fun and even your kids can do this this is an easy meal for kids to help with now you're gonna simply roll them up. Roll. Try to keep it together. And then you're going to take your knife and you're almost gonna make it look like cinnamon rolls. There you go. And I have some grease pans over here. And you can see all your good stuff is in there. And these pans have already been greased. So you're gonna cut it, it's kind of like pinwheels. And you're gonna cut until you filled your whole pan up and they can touch each other. You filled your whole pan up. You can serve this with green beans and some fruit for a very light meal. And um, it's good for summertime. So if you want something light before you go to bed or if you wanna go outside and all that after supper, it's very light for you. So after you get your pan filled, you're going to put it in the oven and bake it for 350 at 350 for 20 to 30 minutes. After you get finished, you're done. You can fix your green beans. I got these, they're steamable. Stick them in the microwave a couple of minutes and you've got your meal. And that is all for this week with Mayhem in the Kitchen with Mary. And the directions for this recipe will be attached to this video. Thank you so much. See you next week.